In this video, we're going to find four real numbers, A, B, C, and D, such that no matter which number I pick, and I add the product of the other three numbers, the sum is constant. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To solve this system of equations, I have decided to look for the symmetries among um, these four expressions. I'm going to write the product of three of the numbers, say BCD, as the product of all four of them. This product is invariant no matter how I um, change the order of A, B, C, and D. So I decided to focus on this number. And for BCD is equal to this number divided by A. And for CDA is equal to this number, it's the same number divided by B, and so on. So then I'm going to rewrite this equation into A plus ABCD over A equals B plus ABCD over B, and so on. And to solve it, I'm going to let these four expressions to be equal to one single constant. Let's say it's equal to n. Then to proceed, we must assume that all of these numbers are non-zero. And so that means, at this point, it seems we have to divide into two cases. first case, which is that um, none of them is zero. So I'll just summarize this by saying that product is non-zero. Um, I started with say, introducing the number ABCD because I want to um, show the motivation of splitting into two cases, which is the first case is ABC is non-zero, while for the second case is is going to be the product to be equal to zero. And for this, I'm actually saying that at least one of A, B, C, and D is equal to zero, but that's actually quite easy to solve. Let's go back to our first case first. So for the first case, I'm going to let A, B, C, D equal some other constant, big M. Big M, big N are constants. Then I can say A, B, C, D are all uh, roots, solutions to the equation x plus number big M over x time, uh, over x equals uh, big N. And simplifying, you realize that it's actually a quadratic equation. And this means that there are at most two distinct solutions. But we have four numbers here, uh, saying that for all these four numbers are roots. So the only possibility is that some of them has to be equal. At this point, I can say that can be either or equal. Well, it's possible because the, the roots can be, can be equal. As in um, x squared minus nx plus m is some sort of a perfect square of a linear expression. Or it can be three of them equal, and the fourth one is distinct. Or two of them are equal, and they form two pairs of equal numbers. At this point, I'm going to let them, uh, I'm going to label them as uh, cases one, two, and three. So for the first case, it's actually quite easy because uh, 
when we put all numbers a b a b c and it to be equal then uh, the system just holds um, there's no restriction on p except that um, because we know that a b c and d cannot be zero so for these constants p and q are not zero so that means all non zero p will do and for um, the second subcase so for if I pick one number uh, if I pick p then it will be p added by the product of the other three which is p square q or it can be um, picking the number q instead added by the product of the other three, which is p cubed. Now, this is quite easy to be factorized because if I move er everything to the right side, p cubed minus p squared q minus p plus q equals zero. I can factorize this as p squared minus one times p minus q. We can even factorize the p squared minus one as p minus one and p plus one multiplied. So that means p equals one or p equals minus one or p equals q. Of course we can just ignore the case p equals q because if I say that this number is p again then it's just the first subcase. So there's nothing for us to do for this part. I can ignore that and then for p equals 1 or minus 1 I can just say that It's either uh, three ones and then one um, any number okay for um, say q not equal to zero or one and then for this is q not equal to zero or minus one and for these we can say the solution sets are just um, this set and their permutations Well, for the third subcase, two equal, two pairs of equal numbers, I can say is um, p plus uh, q square p equals q plus uh, p square q. It's just picking p and then multiply the other three, or picking the q and multiply the other three. So, p square q minus q square p plus q minus p equals zero. And after factorizing, you should get p and q minus 1 multiplied by p minus q equals 0. So either p and q equals 1 or p equals q. Again, we can reject the p equals q um, case and just get that p and q equals 1. And so And so um, A, B, C, D can be uh, two P's and then the other two will be as reciprocal. And to avoid them um, all equal cases, I'm just going to say P is not equal to zero plus or minus one. And of course I can permute them. So these are the solutions when um, none of them um, a, B, C, Ds are zero. Now for the final bit, which is assuming that either one of them is zero, then for example, let's assume by symmetry that A is zero, then if we put a equals zero, then for the first part a plus b c d, then it's just b c d itself. But for the other parts, if you pick b, c, or d, and you add the product of the other three, because a it belongs to the so-called uh, the other three, so if you multiply them, it's zero. 
So it can be equal to b, equal to z, equal to d. Combine the equations, we can say that b cubed equals b, because c and d are just equal to b, so I can say b c d is b cubed. And solving, you move the b to the other to the other side and you factorize, you get b equals 0, 1 or minus 1. And for this, you have all zeros. If b is 0, then c and d are also 0, so all zeros. Or 0 triple 1 or 0 triple minus 1. And if you combine all of them, of course you can say for the for the uh, for the last two sets you can say and uh, permutations by symmetry again. And if you combine all of them, um, I guess um, no checking is required because it's, um, they are pretty obvious. And checking is quite tedious, so I'd rather not show them here. You can um, do that yourself. So um, our final solutions are a, b, c, d equal to or equal, but um, no restriction on the p for this set. And then if you want um, uh, triple ones, then it's just q not equal to one because it is allowed to be zero. And then again, uh, triple minus one, but this time allowing the q to be not uh, to equal to zero as well. So I'll just say that q not equal to minus one. And finally, two pairs of equal numbers, one and uh, one pair being the reciprocal of the other. But for this time, p cannot be. 0 or plus or minus 1, just avoid and repetition. So these are all the solution sets. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.